Hi, I'm working on uh, removing my Vanos unit, and while doing so, I run into a couple um, tricky, tricky things to know uh, to deal with that I wish I had known before I started. One of which required a trip to Harbor Freight for a tool. I'll show you in a minute. So there's a couple things I want to point out. One, inside those access holes, there are two of these plastic uh, covers. So on the face of it, that seems like no big deal. Just reach in with a pair of pliers and pull it out. Note that The access hole here, the piece you need to remove is, is closer to the end here than, than further in. However, this one, it's much deeper. So, if you were to try to take a normal pair of pliers, you can't get in there. And as you can see, it bumps up against the the car. I tried all kinds of different pliers. What I found works is this style. It's it's uh, bent at the end so that I don't have anything in my way. I get in there, squeeze and pull out the little cap. So that it's too dark. I'm in my garage because it's November and it's cold as heck outside. Okay, um, so if you don't have a set of these pliers or something similar that allows you to get back deeper in this one than you do have to be in this one, uh, get get your consider getting the right right tool before you start. Okay, so that's the plastic cap. The other thing I discovered. So once you remove that plastic cap, then you're going to have a T30 head little bolt, this little one. It's back in there. Again, here we have the difference. It's not as deep in here. So you can take your Torx socket and ratchet and get in there and remove it. And remember, it's reverse thread, so you you turn to the right as if you're going to tighten it, but you're actually going to uh, break it loose that way. However, down here, you can't get that in there enough to reach the head of that little bolt that I just showed you, that little black bolt. So I didn't know that and made a trip to Harbor Freight and found this style torque socket. It's longer and skinnier so that it will fit in that recess. And it, um, this particular style, style only came in quarter inch uh, drive size. So this is a quarter inch ratchet, but it, it doesn't take much to, to break it loose. So this, this will give you plenty of leverage to do that. Um, this has not been a difficult job so far. It's time consuming because there's lots of things you have to do, as you know, to get out of your way. You've got to remove the valve cover, um, and that can be uh, time consuming. Not difficult, just time consuming. I just want to emphasize, and I talk to myself all the time about this, take your time, plan ahead, um, and give yourself plenty of time. Don't have a wedding to go to two hours before starting this project. Um, so I'm going to um, remove these bolts in here, or excuse me, nuts in here, and then I'll remove this unit off and I'm switching it out for a rebuilt Dr. Vanos, um, uh, rebuilt Vanos. If I run into anything else, I will come back and report.